Hi guys, it's me, Gwenny, back with another video. So this video is going to be my first order from the Coffee Monsters Co. 8-year anniversary sale last month. Um, so if you haven't watched my videos before, the Coffee Monsters Co. is a shop owned by Helen. And she's based in Canada and she is one of the my all-time favorite shops to shop stickers from. Stickers, washi tape, any kind of stationery. Whenever Helen comes out with something, I had to get it. So when she had her 8-year anniversary sale last March 5th, I made sure that I got a bunch of the new items. And also, I made sure to get like the highest tier of freebies that I could get because I really want all of her freebies. She has like tiered freebies whenever she has sales. And I just thought I, I might as well go big with my first order just in case I won't be able to order anything else after that. So normally, I would order my big order um, so I can reach the highest tier level of the freebies and then make a mini order later on of stuff that's left over after everybody has bought their stuff. Um, and I think this time she had like a pre-sale hybrid. So I was able to get like a pre-sale order. So that one won't come until a few months later. So that's just going to be in another video. But for now, I wanted to unbox or open my uh, my anniversary sale order. Because there's a lot of stickers here that I want to use. And also there's a new tote bag that I want to use uh, for my next book club. Um, so anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gwenny, also known as Candy Thing Fangirl, and I'm a sticker addict, washi tape addict, stationery addict, K-pop, drama fan, Asian drama fan, a bookworm, a gamer, sorts, a collector, actually more of a hoarder, and welcome to my channel. So like I said, this is gonna be a Coffee Monsters Co. haul, um, and I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so... This is my order from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, as you can see, you have the tote bag in the back. And this is the rest of my orders. And it was packaged by Eula. I don't know if you can see that one. And I do have um, a collection of these stickers in my sticker book. Of all the different people that uh, package my order. So Eula, if you're watching my video... Thank you so much for packing my order. Um, still on the hunt for the elusive Tater family um, <laughs> stickers. But oh well. So anyways, before I open this one, I have to say, this packaging right here, this is so awesome. This is so cute. I love this, the detail that Helen puts in the packaging of all her, um, of the stuff that she makes. Even the packaging is so cool. So like this is my packaging. I'm going to save this and probably possibly laminate it later on. Um, this is what I did with one of the other. I think it's an anniversary or birthday or Black Friday. I forgot which one. But this is what I did with one of the packagings that I had. I cut it. I laminated it. And I put it in my Hobonichi Weeks. But this one is also going to get laminated after I'm done hauling this video. Um, I'm going to laminate it and um, keep it maybe as, um, whatchamacallit, maybe as like a page. Um, I forgot what it is. It's kind of like a bookmark for Hobonichi. We'll see. But like I said, um, I did get the highest tier of freebies because that's just how I like it so let me show you what's in here we'll start with the freebies first uh, okay so this is the journaling card that I got it's um, it looks like it's her journey in uh, what do you call this the coffee monsters co so there is, I don't know if you can see it, if my camera's letting it, so I'll just read it to you. So November 16, 2015 was the first time she posted her YouTube video, her first YouTube video. Unfortunately, I deleted my earlier videos when my high school friends found my channel. Aww. Um, then this one is November 20, 2015 was when Helen posted her first Instagram photo. 
I didn't have money to buy anything, so I printed my own grid paper at school for my bullet journal spreads. And then January 19, 2016, she had um, a little ebook that uh, she put out. It's called My Little Doodle Book. Um, that's on her website, actually, if you want to go check it out. Um, it just goes on sale. I created an ebook of my doodles and sold it on Gumroad. This funded my first printer, sticker paper, cutting machine, and sandwich bags. If you know, you know. I'm guessing that's how she uh, packaged her sticker orders back then. So February 9, 2016, she purchased her first sticker cutting machine, Scary. The first stickers I cut were a complete fail. The cuts were too deep. So all of the stickers stuck to the cat cutting mat. I didn't have money to purchase a new mat, so for the next few months, I used masking tape to hold the sticker paper in place. Aww. Um, March 5th, 2016, which is the anniversary of the Coffee Monsters Co., officially launched my Etsy shop. Finally opened on a random Saturday evening. My sister was the only person that I told. And then September 3, 2016, she launched her Shopify website. I was incredibly anxious as I wasn't sure how customers would find me on my independent website, but I knew it was a necessary next step, and I'm so glad I did not check it out last minute. And then March 5th, 2024, still no idea what the heck I'm doing, why I'm here, and how I'm going to move forward. Ha ha ha. And that is the, the kind of like the ev evolution of the Coffee Monsters Co. And like I said in my intro, the Coffee Monsters Co. is one of my all-time favorite shops. Um, it's a shop based in Canada. It's owned by Helen. And it originally was like a family-owned business. It's still a family-owned business, but she actually has other people working for her now. She has a little bit of staff. Her family is still sort of like with the day-to-day -day process, but like it's a little bit lighter on them since there's other people that's helping out. But it is still like one of my favorite businesses and the c community on Facebook is awesome. Um, if you're gonna try and order from the Coffee Monsters Co., you should join the Facebook group. It's really a, f a nice place to be. Um, and I'm not sponsored, by the way. Um, I just know that Helen does like three major sales every year. It's uh, the shop anniversary in March, her birthday in August, and Black Friday in November. So I know that during those days, most of my sticker buying budget is going to go to most of it is going to go to her store. So that is how I am funding my sticker problem. But anyways, so that is the story of the Coffee Monsters Co. And then at the back, there's a message from Helen. Eight years of the Coffee Monsters Co. Wow, it has been a long journey getting to this point. Lots of learning, growth, trial, error, 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 trial, error, and success too. Thank you for sticking with me through it all and encouraging me along the way. I am forever thankful that I get to wake up each day to do a job that I love, and that is something I will never be able to repay you for. Thank you again, and I hope this parcel brings you joy today. So this is a journaling card slash bean card. So I'll go over a bean card quickly so that I don't talk too much. Um, but this is called a bean card because whenever you buy stickers from Helen, there's usually a coffee bean on top. So what you do is you take that coffee bean, you stick it on this one. Once you have 21 of these coffee beans, um, the next time you order, you can say that, um, on the notes to seller, you can say that you're redeeming a bean card. And then, um, you fill out this part right here. Um, you fill out when you're redeeming it and the order number of the order you said you were going to redeem a bean card. So that when you, when you get your order, the next, when they deliver your order, you will get a new, uh, freebie. Or a sampler so this one is what you normally get whenever you order this is like an automatic given so this one it says 2024 chapter 3 um, and there's a few stickers there but if you complete a bean card you will get a different kind of um, sampler or a different kind of um, sticker sheet so this is, I don't have the most recent one, 
this is the last one that I have so if you compare the sizing of this one this one is a little bit bigger and it's a lot more stickers this one is a little bit smaller so these were the ones that have been retired there is a new set which if you go to her Facebook uh, if you go to her website there's usually like a note and you'll see a picture of the current bean cards but these are the bean they're called bean samplers so these are special samplers they're not sold in shop sometimes some of the stickers will be sold as sheets but most of the time these are um, not sold in shops so the only time you can get them is if you redeem a bean card um so normally uh helen will make uh four designs of a bean card so what i do uh for my own crazy hoarding tendencies is i will wait until i have four bean cards to redeem and then i redeem all four at the same time so that i get one of each designs of her of the current bean cards because if you only redeem one you're kind of like getting a random bean card so you don't get to choose which one you want um so it's not guaranteed that you're going to get the design that you want so i normally will uh what do you call this wait until i have four and then redeem them and then what you do after you put your notes to seller so you take a photo of this bean card completed um you send an email to the coffee monsters co at gmail.com let them know that you're redeeming bean cards and this is the order and all that stuff and then when you get your order you get your bean bean samplers so that's my spiel on the bean card slash bean sampler redemption and before i go away from the journaling card there's always a joke at the end it says what did the zero say to eight nice belt <laughs> that's cute so that is my journaling card okay that was too much stuff so this is like i said the freebie that i got um, it says 2024 chapter 3 because it's March and it's the third month. Um, so you have movie tickets, movie night, or somebody crying on popcorn and there's like uh, two emojis watching movies together. And it says thank you for ordering. So like I think all of these except for the chapter 2024 um, you can t use as a sticker. The rest of them uh, you can't. So like I normally save those and not use them unless I have extras. So anyway, so let's get to um, the freebies. So I had, I think these are all my freebies. Let me see. Yeah, these are all my freebies. Um, This one is, everybody gets this one right here. So this one is um, the clear logo vinyl and uh, this is the clear logo vinyl and it has like some kind of hollow um, thing. So it's tried my best and it's got like different emojis and different hats. So there's like a bear, a piggy, panda, froggy um this is a cow there's a chick a bunny and a koala i don't know if you saw that one and then um if you get to the final um the very high thing you get all four of the vinyls so she had four vinyls so this is um one of them it's just a cute emoji there's an emoji that says trying oh wait no this one is different no, well, I don't know anymore. Um, I don't know. I think, no, this is the clear emoji. I, what, I got so confused. So this is the clear um, logo vinyl. This is the emoji, the Coffee Monsters Co. This one is just a sticker sheet. Uh, that says try my best this is one of the vinyls 
uh, four vinyls for the freebie. This one says trying. This one looks like a graph. This one says cool beans. And this one is an emoji drinking some creative juice. And then you also get these, um, whatchamacallit, they are the self-care cards. So you have connect with nature, disconnect and unplug. This is really cute. Um, do something you love. And then close your eyes and listen to music. That's really, really cute. And then um, this is another one that you get. I think you start getting this one when you reach a hundred bucks. So this one is the swatch card. It's got like all these swatches from, I think these are mild liner swatches. So these are really cool. I don't have that many mild liners, but maybe someday I will have them. And then the last one, if you have uh, spent 120 US dollars, you would get this coaster. Um, so this one is a drink coaster. It says proud of you. I am not going to use it as a drink coaster because I would be afraid I would mess this up with water. But this is so cute. Anyways, let's get to what I got. Um, trying to look. So these ones are some of the stickers that I got. Um, this one is the Emoti Rub-On sticker. So there's three sheets to this one. So this is how you use them. I haven't really used this one before. So I'm going to see. But there's three sheets of them and it's all um, the different. I think it's up to, I'm going to say it's up to 30. It's a numbers up to 30 or 31. So you can use this as date covers for your planner. I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it. So I'm not going to try and use that one right now. Um, and then she had a... Good Lord, I can't put it back. This is the kit that she made for the anniversary. This is called the Finding Peace Kit. So I got the Hobonichi Cousin and the Hobonichi Weeks. So this is the Hobonichi Weeks um, kit. So I got the deluxe kit. So normally it is, I think, just these two kits if you're just getting the normal one. But I got the, the extras because I wanted all the other um, full boxes. So these are the full boxes that I have. And then you have your date covers and your weekend banner here. There's some kind of like bottom washi right here and some post-it notes and then more post-it notes that you can use later. These are the bean stickers that I was talking about that you can use uh, for your bean card. So that's the first kit that I have. And then I got the girls night out emojis. I'm going to try and see if I can use this for whenever I have a different outing with my um, book club. I got the no pants day because I like no pants day. <laughs> I've said this is the eight year anniversary sampler. So she always picks like some of the stickers that were um, a big hit, uh, I think from the previous year. So those are the ones that were a hit. So they have the so excited, the one that's climbing up. This is like, a, I think creative brain or something like that. I don't know what this one is. It looks like she's it was sweated through. There's an emoji head right here. This one I really like. This one I think is therapy. Um, update planner. Pack lunch. Checkbox. Sunday scaries. This one. It looks like I think it's saluting or something. Plan for the week. The Hot Mess Express and the Struggle bu Bus were a big hit. And Get Your Ducks in a Row. I really love the sticker sheet. And then the Blob Mode. So those are the eight year anniversary sampler. So I got two of these because one of them I use and one of them I hoard. This one, catch up on sleep. It seems like when you're an adult, you can never catch up on sleep. So I got this one right here. <laughs> I miss my bed emojis because I always miss my bed. That's pretty much where I live. When I'm home, I'm usually in my bed. 
rotting in bed. This is reminds me of the term that I learned on Instagram. It's called Herkle Durkle. So I love my Herkle Durkles. Apparently it's a Scottish term for just laying in bed and not doing anything when you're supposed to be up already. So this is what I'm going to use for whenever I Herkle Durkle in bed. They have cringe emojis. I do sometimes have cringe moments, but I never remember to mark them. Um, these ones are larging, uh, not larging, large finding piece doodles. So she always makes these large doodles lately whenever she releases a kit. And I think this is really, really cute. And I've seen people use these instead of kits. So sometimes I may use this when I don't have a kit for a certain week on my Hobonichi. So I got two of those, one to use and one to hoard, like always. Um, this one is the Habit Trackers. I got the colorful ones. I like colors. I, I mostly go for colors instead of kind of like beige or neutrals. Um, and then this one is just Circle Emoji Checklist. Um, I believe I don't do more than three things, so those, those would really help. And then this is, I think, the last kit that I have is the Finding Peace um, weekly kit for the Hobonichi Cousin. So this is has all the full boxes, the headers. These are all headers and some posted notes. So I got the big kit. So normally it's only like two pages like this, but I I always splurge for the whole kit. So this is what they look like. So this is the back with the half uh, quarter boxes and the half boxes. And then this one is the bonus page if you buy the three pages. So there's arrows. There's some um, kind of like a bottom washi, a weekly uh, sidebar, and then some trackers and all that stuff. So those are the stickers that I got. So let's go to the non-stickers. I'll put this aside. So I got... Um, four washi tapes. Well, I got two of each, but there's only four washi tapes. And I will swatch this out and then get back to you at the end of the video. Um, because I can't remember the names of these. But there are four designs that she released. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay. These are the four designs that I got. And then um I got oh, I'm going to put this here. I got these pins. So I got two of them. They weren't that much. But it's this I love stickers and I love stickers. So I'm going to put this, one of them, on the tote bag. And then one of them, I guess it's a gift for someone else later on. And then I got, these are the two big clips that she came out with. So this one is a cute little emoji on a big paper clip. And this one is just like a speech bubble with a heart. They're really, really cute. I don't remember if I got extras of these with my pre-sale order. I might have. And then the last item I have is this um, kind of like... What do you call this? These are the... Long List Love Notepad. So these ones will actually fit on the sidebar of um, Hobonichi Cousin. Maybe on a regular planner too. I got two of them because I wanted them and they have dot grid paper. So you can put them or on your planner whenever. They're really great for that one. And then the last thing that I have is um, my, uh, what do you call this? The tote bag. So this one is the protect your piece tote bag. And everybody was excited for this one. So was I. Do I need more tote bags? No. Did I get a new tote bag? Heck yes. I'm always going to get a tote bag. Because, I don't know. I just like using them. So this one is the Protect Your Peace tote bag. This was like a 
when she came out with a vinyl sticker for this one, everybody was going crazy. It was always getting sold out. I think she had to restock it like twice or three times. Um, but this is the Protect Your Peace tote bag. You can see there's a Coffee Monsters Co. Um, logo right there. This is an emoji. Um, it's got, what do you call this? Handles. Um, it's made out of canvas bag. And this one has like uh, two pen pockets right here. And then this one is a smaller pocket that you can, I guess you can put your phone in there. Um, and then inside there is a big zippered pocket. So the older tote bag, let me see if I can get it. This was the first tote bag that Helen ever came up with. So this one was last year's tote bag. Um, so you got like an emoji with a planner and stuff like that. And it has the pocket in the back, but it's just like one big pocket. And it does have like the two pen loops and a small zipper pocket on the inside. So this one, it has um a zipper pocket on the inside and then the one for your phone is on the outside so that's what this um what do you call this the tote bag looks like and i just realized that i do have the names of the washi tape on my planner so we can do this um we can swatch this out quickly Possibly. Let me find a pen. You'd think a pen addict would have like a ton of pens next to hers, but I don't. Um, so this one is the anniversary. The eight year anniversary. Washi tapes. So the first one that I got is i need to put a page on this so the first one that i got is this one so this one is the winnie and friends washi tape so this is one i think the third iteration of the winnie and friends so she first came out with this um a while ago and I don't think she put it as Winnie and Friends 3.0. I'm going to put it 3.0. So this one has all of the Winnie the Pooh characters in onesie form. Um... I'm going to take this part out. Yeah. This part out. Um, and then there is... This is the Happy Hobbies washi tape. So I don't have the foilings of this one. The foil colors. That's one thing. I'll have to go back and do that. Um later on but it's not going to be in this video so let me get this one oh crap happy hobbies sorry i am rushing a little bit Um, I think this is, does it go until here? Oh, wow. This is a lot of hobbies. It goes all the way until here. And then we have 
Twinkle Twinkle Glitter Tape. And then the last one is called uh, Breaking News Washi Tape. This one is not foiled, I don't think. Okay. So these are the washi tapes that she has. So like I said, Winnie and Friends is like the third iteration of this washi tape. Um, let me see if I can find my other Coffee Monsters coat. Uh, so, the Winnie, the Winnie and Friends one is one of the first washi tapes she ever came up with. So, this one was in 2018. So, this is the original Winnie and Friends. And then this one is the new version. So, the background is a little bit lighter. But I think, or maybe it's the same one. I don't, I can't really tell if it's the same one or if it's different. But this is the Winnie and Friends washi tape. And then the Happy Hobbies one is a new tape. So you get like the different kinds of hobbies. So you have uh, writing, taking pictures, watching movies, shopping, which is my favorite, collecting stickers painting playing games is my favorite too this one is probably crocheting or knitting studying i do not like studying um this one looks like working out or maybe running cooking music gardening playing board games um being in nature and then it repeats with the writing part so i do love a lot of this stuff i'm not a good gardener I can take nature if there's no buggies. Um, do not like studying. Working out, it's kind of like hit and miss for me. And then um, the next washi tape that I have is the Twinkle 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 Glitter Tape. So this one is actually like, it's foiled, but it's like in a different, I don't know if you can see the different material. So this one is smooth paper. This one is, it's glitter tape. So it's a little bit textured. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But the original Twinkle Twinkle was also came out in 2018. And this is what it looks like. So these are the two difference. The colors are more vibrant with the new, with the glitter tape version than the, the original. The original was more pastel -y. And then the other new tape that she came out with was the Breaking News Washi. So this one is the washi tape. So I don't know if you can read the, the notes on it. But like Helen does this thing where she would write stuff randomly thinking nobody's going to read it. But we all read it. So it says, my least favorite nut to eat is peanuts. I love peanut butter, but I'm not the biggest fan of the whole peanut converse Conversely, I love other types of nuts like cashews, but 
Uh, really like peanuts though. I think the biggest scam of a nut are walnuts. I find walnuts to be delicious, but since it is so big, you can only have a few before you hit the overconsumption amount. So I try to stay away from walnuts and pecans too. For the same reason, cashews are definitely the most dangerous for me as it is almost a bit sweet to me, and I love sweets, so I tend to overeat on cashews. The safest nut for me to eat is almonds. Delicious, but not so delicious that I can down a whole bag without, uh, and then it just repeats. Um, why is this column so narrow? Spacing is so difficult. Ah! I mindlessly ate an entire bag of unsalted mixed nuts and now my stomach is in shambles. It should be illegal to, for nuts to be so delicious. This is also not the first time this has happened. Yikes, I think I should stop buying bags. And then something interesting is that for pistachios, I much prefer the shelled version as opposed to the pre-shelled kernels. I think pistachios are delicious so that having too many at once is a bit sickening. Therefore, the need to shell them allows for... And then, plus, kernels are so expensive. A new type of nut I tried this year was Brazil nuts. It was very subtle in flavor, but very satisfying. Um, one can not eat too many per day as it's high in selenium and you can get poisoned since the concentration is different per. For other nuts, for example, two almonds can weigh the same but be different. I love that. She goes on, like, tangent about nuts and this whole thing. And, she, like I said, she would write these things in her um, stuff, thinking nobody's going to read them. But we do. I love reading it. Um, she did the same thing with... I think it was... Which one was it? She had another... Oh, this one. I think it's the reading one. Maybe. But yeah. So that is it for this haul video. Um, these are everything that I got from the sale. This is the first order. And like I said, there's going to be like uh, another order sometime in the next few months. I don't know when it's going to arrive. But I did order extras of the washi tape. Because if you've watched my videos before, you know that I have to have more than one roll of washi tape from Helen. Because it's just that good. And I love using them, but I hate that I would use the last roll. But anyways, um, that is it, like I said, for this haul video. I think my favorite stuff is the tote bag. Um, all the washi tapes, the compliment cards. This cute little coaster that will never be a coaster for me. Um, and I do love the, this one. I love reading about her journey for her shop, how she, um, got started and everything. So that is it for this haul video. If you got to this part of the video, um, let me know which one is your favorite item from the whole thing. Like I said, those are my favorite stuff. And, um... If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!